Hi there, my name is Mike and I have a dedicated virtual reality YouTube channel called Virtual Reality Oasis. So today I'm teaming up with Fishbowl VR to bring you a how-to guide on how to record augmented reality on your iOS device so you've got a nice split screen view of the person using the device and what's actually shown on the screen itself. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so first things first is we want to grab our iOS device. What we want to do is go ahead and make sure that this device is running iOS 11. If iOS 11 hasn't officially released yet, you want to go ahead and install the iOS 11 beta. So the reason why we want to use iOS 11 is because it's got a nifty little feature that will allow us to capture what's being displayed on the device in a video format and record it to the device itself. So that's going to make it super easy to record what's being displayed on the device without having to use any capture cards or trailing long cables. To install the Apple iOS beta, you need to go to Google and search for Apple beta software program. That'll take you to the official Apple beta software program site. And there you'll need to log in with your Apple user ID and password. Once you've logged in and verified it's yourself, then you'll need to scroll down and go to enroll your iOS device. Please ensure that you've got a fresh backup of your iOS device to the iCloud or locally on your desktop. Once you've got that, you can go ahead and download your profile. This will then give you the opportunity to install iOS 11. So now we've got our iOS device running iOS 11 and we've got a distraction free area where we can record. Let's go ahead and start our test of an application. So as you can see, I've set up the video so I'm on the left hand side of the screen. So that is going to allow us later on to overlay what's being shown on the device right here. So we've got a nice split screen view. So let's go into our device and now start off our screen recording. So now we're recording our screen, we can pick our application. So in this case, it's Augment, which is a 3D augmented reality application and choose a, a model to show and if we scale it back a little bit we can see that the model is displayed on our display and we can rotate it like so. So now you should have a nice overlay of what I can see on the device itself and the video of me actually using the application. So once we've finished recording our video and our talk through of the application and thinking aloud what our thoughts are of the application, maybe suggesting some improvements or what could be changed. Then we need to go to our PC and edit this all together. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Once you've copied your recorded file onto your desktop, it will look something like this. Now you could try and import this straight into your favorite video editor, but the problem is the way the video is recorded on your iOS device, any time that the screen isn't being interactive with, it saves it as an image. So for some reason it messes up the timings completely uh, when you import it straight into your video editor. The way around this is to play the video on your desktop and record the screen as you do so. So I would suggest using OBS, which is what I'm using to record this video now, and set it up to record your desktop. So once you've got it set up to record your desktop, you just want to play the file from your iPad and let it run through. Okay, so now we've recorded our screen, we can stop OBS and then find the output file. So now you have your original recording and your OBS recording. So now I'm going to jump into Premiere Pro and show you how to cut this together. So now we're in a scene of Premiere Pro and I want to put this uh, together. So I'll go ahead and navigate to the file and pick the OBS recording. So now we've got the video of the recording overlaid onto the video of the actual actions that I was taking. Now we want to crop the video uh, recording down so it's just the iPad itself. And you do that by using effects, crop, go to effect controls and take it, just crop the edges off so it's uh, nice and clean. 
And now we just want to scale it up so it looks nice and tidy. So now that we've edited our video, we should end up with something like this. And as you can see, it's a nice, simple look that's an easy and effective way to record augmented reality using an iOS device. So I hope this video was useful for you. Sign up to Fishbowl VR if you're a tester or a developer, so you can get involved in the testing process and as a developer to test your latest application. Thanks.